everyone welcome back to my channel so I'm really excited about this video because it is going to be a makeup organizational video and basically what happened is my makeup collection just got a little too big and I started hunting around the internet for some different organizational tips so I do have one of the um, Alex drawers from Ikea so that's kind of like the basic B sort of situation that a lot of beauty vloggers have, but honestly, it is for me that I have found the most affordable type of drawer to house a ton of makeup. I know that a lot of bigger vloggers have like really beautiful vanities and things like that, but honestly, your girl can't afford that kind of stuff at this point. So we're working with what we have, but inside the drawers, I just have not been enjoying my system that I created. So I discovered Sunny Cosmetics. So basically they are a organizational um, company that provides beauty vloggers and people who love makeup with tailored like acrylic sets for the alex drawers specifically so all of their sets come custom made to the um, Ikea Alex drawers, which I think is awesome. Like I purchased a couple of different organizational stuff off of Amazon and like they go into my drawer just fine, but it's like one little row of it. And whenever you keep adding it in, like it doesn't fit all the way. So I love the fact that this company took probably the most like common makeup drawer that's out there and it created an acrylic set that fits specifically to that. So they have a ton of different items on their website. They have um, compacts, they have blushes, they have lipsticks, lip glosses, they have half sizes as well. So if you wanted one of your drawers to be for compacts and then half of that also dedicated to lipsticks or something, they have that option as well. So they fit nice and tight. And I do have a really awesome discount code for y'all. So if you put in Brianna May Makeup in all caps, I have it listed down below, always in the description box, you get 20% off your entire order from Sunny Cosmetics. And they actually also provide you with the Ikea drawers themselves. So if you are just wanting to purchase straight from them, you can do that option as well. Uh, so they have a lot of really cool stuff there. And I hope that you find this video fun and enjoyable. I honestly have so much makeup like I wish I could just show you right now but I have some right here I have there like a ton over there on the floor on my other desk like it is a hot mess so I'm excited to be able to organize this so let's go ahead and organize my makeup together so I just realized that I like, have this giant box sitting here the whole time but they actually came super super fast um, I'm just going to open this up here because it's just more comfortable. And then once we get down to my drawers, I'll like angle it down so y'all can see, but I pre-ordered this and then it ended up coming because I ordered it like the week right before they were sending out their first shipment and they got fast. Like this is priority mail and it comes insured and everything like that. You do pay obviously a little bit more for the shipping. I paid $14 for $90 worth of product and I'm okay with that because it comes in like the super sturdy packaging um, and I know that the acrylic is not going to break on me. So right now I'm just knifing open this thing and it comes, it looks like it comes in like a customized box or something because I don't, I've never seen a box like this before. So just bear with me for a second. <sighs> I did not get any sleep at all last night. I'm like running on fumes because I had kind of a massive <laughs> panic attack, which I knew was going to happen. Sometimes you just get in that head space and you kind of just have to roll with it. Um, so I had like and I'm just talking about this because I did a recent video on like mental health and everything and I feel like we should talk about it more. So that's what I'm doing. Um, 
but I didn't get any sleep last night, so I gotta go to bed early tonight. Okay, so, ooh, oh my gosh, look at this big guy. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. I don't know which one this is, but I will tell you in a minute. So the packaging is definitely, for me, worth the $14. Like, I hate whenever you pay an arm and a leg for packaging, for shipping, and then it like barely gets protected. That's so frustrating to me. Okay, this is awesome. Um, it comes bubble wrapped and everything like that, which is great. And then this one is for the compact. So you can see that houses a ton of compacts, which is going to be great because I'm wanting to put like all of my blushes, my highlights, everything together in one drawer. So I'm hoping this is a 43 set. So I'm hoping I'll be able to squeeze everything in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, they wrap this up really, really well. Just gonna knife off this ceram wrap. So hopefully everything will fit. If not, I still have a couple other, I mean, I just have a ton of makeup. Honestly, I need an entire new Alex drawer as well. So this is really, really nice, you guys. Um, it's very thick. It is not flimsy at all. Yeah, that is some thick acrylic. So if you can see here, it's about a quarter inch, all of it. And then it has the cute little sunny um, monogram right there. All right, so we have that piece. And then, oh my God, let me, oh. I don't know what's happening. Chalupa, it's okay, baby. He probably thinks the box is attacking me. Okay. Oh my God, I'm too tired for this. Yeah, my dog literally thinks that the box is eating me right now. All right, and then I also got a mini lip gloss, lipstick. I forgot what I ordered. Uh, it's one or the other. It's for lip products. Okay. Yes, I've never really had a legit um, lip product organizer, so I'm really excited about this. I think this one is 70, I wanna say. I don't know, it's a lot. Look at all that. So same sort of situation going on with the thickness. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. And of course, it is bubble wrapped and saran wrapped. So you definitely don't have to worry about it breaking on the trip. Not that, I don't know if acrylic is easy to break or not. Maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, this is like kind of too wrapped. Oh my gosh, okay. I am on the struggle bus. All right, so again, this is what it looks like. Really nice, we got a ton of different compartments here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all set up so you can watch me organize. Okay, y'all, so this is how it fits into the Alex drawer. This is my fourth drawer down in the Alex 5. So it's really nice because it has like this little slot back here to where you can just kind of throw miscellaneous things. I'll probably end up putting all of my lashes back there, but I have a ton of makeup to get through. So basically I was storing a lot of my products in these little plastic bins from like a dollar store. And then I also ordered um, some of these compact organizers from Amazon. So these fit, I believe eight normal compacts. So this is what I was talking about actually. That could probably like go back there as well, but it just wasn't feasible because first off, these are a lot chunkier than the sunny ones um, in the sense of like they're just bulkier and like the edging right here comes out. So whenever you put them in line with each other, like it just ends up creating like not enough space if you get what I'm trying to say. So I figured I would just kind of make this into like a little 
sort of declutter video as well because as I was pulling out stuff I realized that I had some products in here that I don't really use anymore. So we're just going to kind of roll with it and hopefully everything fits the way that I am wanting it to. So first off we have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes which I love. So hopefully I can fit, yeah, so I can fit them up like this. And then that way I can actually see the color. That's really nice. And then I feel like I want to organize it by highlighters and blushes too. So I think I will start with highlighters over here and then blushes. Yeah, let me do that. So I'm going to get all my highlighters going first. So I have all my Becca highlights, which I just featured in my latest um, favorite formula video. They were my top like high-end luxurious formula and then we have some other highlighters this one is the brick highlighter from physicians formula i love that and then we have the gerard cosmetics which is really nice pixie and aspen ovard santorini sunset one of my absolute favorites let me see what else we got going on here then we have this bad boy this is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting palette i actually love this palette a lot um, I didn't feature it in my highlighting video because I do love these ones more, which are the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Crown of My Canopy and Precious Petals, which I wonder if both of those. Oh, nice. Okay, so if you have like a thinner compact, you can fit two of them in one, which is really nice. Okay, this guy does not fit because it's a little bit chunky, but that's okay. So we'll put him back there for now. All right, and then we also have a ColourPop highlight. This one is in the shade Stole the Show. I love that one. It's really, really nice. What else do we have going on here? Oh, I totally forgot about this. So this is by Luxie, and it is like a really cool kind of purple highlight. It's actually really nice but it's so cool toned that it's really hard for me to wear um, but i do love it for eyeshadow it's just like on my skin it's so silver and so cool toned that it's really really difficult for me to pull off okay so now i'm just digging around my other products oh yeah i have the stila kitten which fits really really nicely in there and then i also have this physician's formula uh translucent pearl which isn't bad. No, you don't fit. This one is like super chunky packaging. So I feel like I'm just going to put all of my chunky stuff back here. Oh, that's so funny. All right. And then we have the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. And then we also have some other products over in here. But... We have the Josie Moran highlights. So I feel like, no, that just fits one. Okay. And then I think it's safe to say that we can move on to blushes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right. So I have the Essence Mosaic Blush, which I really, really enjoy. That one's a lot of fun. Um, I have the Flower Beauty. I have a ton of tarts like just insane so I talked all about these in my is that just gonna hold two that will hold two ish okay that works yeah we can roll with that and then what else do I have oh those are eyeshadows okay and what do I want to do next oh I'll do my Too Faced heart blushes which I freaking adore. Those are awesome. You guys, I have a lot of products. Ooh, crap. Forgot about this highlight. This, that's the um, Physician's Formula Butter Highlight that I am literally dying over. It's so good, y'all. If I could recommend like, a top-of-the-line highlight, it would be that one for sure. All right, now what should I do? All right, I think I'm gonna do my color icon blushes back here. I love how if the packaging is thin enough, like you could totally fit two. The essence is a little thick, but that's okay. 
All right, and then we also have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush, which I just got this. This was in one of my latest Wishlist Wednesday videos. It has that really beautiful hummingbird on it. It's really, really nice. I'll be using it in tutorials coming up. We have the Makeup Revolution Blush, and then a Butter Blush from Physicians Formula that my mom just gave me. I've never seen a color like this before. It's weird. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's called Plum Rose. But I don't know, that just looks great to me in the pan. So we'll see how that goes. Of course, Physicians Formula doesn't fit in here. Yeah, I don't think any of my Physicians Formula stuff is going to fit. So I will put that, actually, yeah, it doesn't even fit in the Amazon ones, like in here. I honestly just think that like, to be completely frank, I love the packaging on these. They're so cute, but there is at least like a quarter, if not half an inch of this packaging that could be narrowed down. And then we have this stupid little brush container in here. I don't know a single person who uses that brush because it's so thin and it gives like a really sharp contour, um, like unnecessarily sharp. So I'm just gonna put those back there and then we'll work with our other products. So I'm just looking to see if I have any other blushes. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I have this Ulta blush, which I've had for like, honestly ever. It's in the shade Girly and it's actually really, really nice. So I'm just gonna put that with my Tarte. And then I have these two e.l.f. cream blushes, which are not that bad. Like, I feel like they don't necessarily stay super long on me, but I make it work. And then I have this like random NYX blush. It is a uh, high definition. And then also like a random Bare Minerals blush too, which is actually really pretty. And this is why I've been wanting to do more organizational stuff like this because there's so many products that I just really and honestly lose sight of because I don't see them in my collection. So this is really nice that I get to do this. Um, and then I have this really great, really old actually, a Becca Cosmetics um, Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle in Guava and Moonstone. It's a combo blush. It's really, really nice though. Not fit in there. Yes. All right, I'm trying to make it more compact. Okay, so now I think I'm going to move on to bronzers. All right, so I have the Milani baked bronzer. Does not go in there. But again, it is just so chunky for packaging. Like, that is huge. I mean, the pan really does go all the way down, so I love that you get a ton of product, but it's just really hard to find any sort of um, packaging that like goes well with this. Oh, shoot. Forgot about these blushes. My Hourglass and then my CHA London blush. Y'all, I am forgetting everything. I have like a ton of blushes over here. What am I doing? All right, I also have the Fiona Styles. And what else? I have the NYX Baked Blush and Illuminizer. Oh, oh my God. Don't break Becca. And Wonderlust. This one is really, really nice. And of course it doesn't fit. Honestly, you guys, it's not this. It is the packaging. Like look at how much of my collection fits in here compared to like the ones that don't. So. All right, I have Milani Luminoso, which fits, thank God. And then what else? I have all of my ColourPop blushes, which actually fit a little too tight because they're pretty chunky as well. So I'm just gonna keep those in here in my Amazon packaging because this is a little bit wider, just a pinch. And then what else do I have left? All right, I think it is safe to say that I can go on to powders now. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is put like my most used powders in here because they don't fit, of course. So I'll just go with bronzers. 
All right, so I'm feeling like not frustrated because I'm really liking this organizational system, but at the same time, like I was just expecting more of them to fit. So that, I don't really know how to feel about that right now. So we're just gonna roll with it. All right, so I have these two bronzers. Uh, this is the, what are you, Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which is like super old school. Like if you guys remember this packaging from Tarte, it was like from forever ago. So that is going in the bin. And then I also have this Bare Minerals bronzer called the Skinny Dip. And I feel like this is so old. Like I don't even, I don't even know what this packaging is. Like what, what is that? So I'm getting rid of that as well. And then I also have the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Pressed Finishing Powder, which I really enjoy this powder, but it is so old. It is older than my channel. So I think it's time to let that baby go. And then I also have my, oh, that's a foundation, but it's still a compact, so I'll put that in here. And then I also have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette which is like just too ginormous to fit in there. So I'm gonna put it back here. All right, so I also have the City Color HD powder, which is crap, so I'm getting rid of that. And then we have the NYX HD Studio Photogenic powder, which is really good if you're not baking. Um, this powder is literally the devil if you are baking. It is not good at all, do not rec recommend it for that, but it looks really nice because it's super finely milled underneath the eyes if you were just dusting it on, but do not bake with this. It is a creasy, like disgusting hot mess. So this is what the situation is looking like right now for this drawer in terms of all my compacts. I'm actually really happy with this. Um, I was not expecting for to have like leftover because I didn't realize that I had that much in my compact section. And then also I honestly didn't even think about these giant things for packaging. So that's just something to keep in mind whenever you're purchasing products. I mean, I will never get rid of my physician's formula stuff, um, but these sort of acrylic drawers fit much better for I don't know, I guess like products that <laughs> aren't really, what am I trying to say? Super like thick in packaging. So that is going to be done for this drawer. And then now I'm just going to move on to my lipsticks. Okay, so I decided to put this lipstick half in the foundation drawer that I have just because this was a drawer that really got cleaned out whenever I did the um, compact drawer. So this you guys probably recognize down here, which is basically what sits on top of one of my vanities um, that I film in front of. So I figured I would just kind of go through and put a lot of my lipsticks in here and also go through and kind of declutter. So going off the top shelf, I have the Color Lock from BH Cosmetics, which honestly, ooh, ooh, okay. These are just like really old and I don't use them enough, which I'm kind of mad at myself because I remember really, let me swatch one. Yeah, see these are like super nice and opaque, but they're just too old. So I'm gonna toss those out and then I'm going to, just basically start putting in my lipstick. So I have all of my Milani right here. And I'm just going to be putting them upside down in a way that I can read them so that I know exactly what color it is because I don't, like I know my lipsticks by the shade name and then I will have Bite Beauty up next. I actually really like this. This is super, super nice. So I'm literally just putting everything upside down. And then I have this really awesome 
lipstick from Urban Decay, which is in a really cool kind of like interesting um, nude shade. It's called Abstract. I think it was a limited edition. And then I also have this Liquid Katsu Mega Last from Wet n Wild. Not a big fan of that, so that is going out. And then I have City Chic City Color. I've had this forever. It really just needs to go. Um, the NYX Love Out Loud lipstick is really, really nice. I love this formula. It's super great. So actually, let me see what I want to do. I feel like I'm not a huge mini person. Like, I don't even, I don't think I'm going to use these. I'm just going to toss them. All right, next up, I'm going to dive into my liquid lipstick drawer, which has like all of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. So I'm just going to literally put them in upside down. Actually, I'm going to start up here and do it this way. Okay, I'm like digging this already, I can tell. So I'm just going to put all of my color pop together. I think I have like lip glosses too, yeah. And then I will go into like the next brand, which I think will be Anastasia. Sure. And then let's do Anastasia lip gloss. And then we'll do Stila. Have you guys ever stored your lip products like upside down like this? I'm having a little bit of anxiety about it just because I've never honestly done it before. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's giving me a touch of anxiety, but that's okay. All right, now I'm just throwing stuff in randomly. All right, I feel like, yeah. So. These like little minis from Kat Von D, I can actually put two of them in here. So that's really exciting. If I can put two, yeah, you can't put two Gerard Cosmetics in there together, but that's all right. And then we also have the Bite Beauty um, lip glosses, which actually I really need to use these again. Um, they're so stinking beautiful. Really, really pretty. All right, and then I have this random shade from Kat Von D and Requiem, which is actually a super unique shade. I just don't reach for it a ton right now. All right, so now I'm just going to kind of like throw the rest of this in here and just try to like actually clean out this drawer. I have a ton of minis. Look, I have more like mini... Um, lip glosses from Bite Beauty. So those can go two in one. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff, you guys. This is crazy. All right. I'm just going to throw like every, will this even shut? Yeah. I'm just going to throw everything in. Okay, this lip thing from Tarte is so freaking old. All right, see if I can get multiple ColourPop lippy sticks in here. Yes, all right, that makes me happy. All right, so I'm putting multiple of the ColourPop lippy sticks in here, which is great. And then I also have some Pacifica um, lipsticks, which are awesome. And those go two in one as well. And then I have the ColourPop Deja Vu. All right, this is actually looking really, really great. And then I have two of these holiday um, gift set for, this is the Matte Cream Lip Crown by Bite Beauty. So I can put two of these in one as well. Just, so I love how it fits like two of the lippy sticks in. That makes me feel a lot better. All right, and then I have a lot more room here. So let's go ahead and move on to some other lipsticks I can throw in there. All right, so I have a lot more going on over here. So I'm just going to, I think, throw in my Dose of Color stuff and then my Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks, which I freaking love. I have the... Um, 
the Mickey Song lipstick that is gorgeous. Flower Beauty, don't play me like that. Okay, so Flower Beauty, because of this like super like large lid, it goes in the other way. So I can't have this one facing up, but it's the only one I have by them. It's in the shade T Rose. Oh my gosh, I love this lipstick. This is the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick, which I will put over here. All right, we're making progress. This is actually going super well. Actually, I have another Anastasia product. All right, we'll put that there and that there. Perfect. And another Gerard Cosmetics. <gasps> so I just discovered that I have a lot more lipsticks than I thought, <laughs> which always ends up happening to me. So I'm going to try to like reorganize some of this really quick. I have some more Bite Beauty that I completely and totally forgot about. So I'm going to throw that in here. Take these out. I don't know why I like feel like I have to have this super duper organized, but I do. So we're just going to roll with it. I feel like I'm playing Tetris almost. I'm trying to figure out all of this stuff and like where exactly I want it to go. Okay, so I have this one, which is Dose of Colors. I have another Dose, Dose of Colors thing. Where is it? Gosh, where did it go? Oh, I know where it is. It's in my purse. So that is going to be a spot holder. <laughs> All right, and then we have the Gerard Cosmetics ones. Um, ooh. We'll do Urban Decay. We will throw, I feel like I want all of my actual lipsticks to be in here and then we'll kind of roll with some other stuff. I have like another ColourPop, um, little lippy and thistle, which I actually really, really like that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this color from Stila is so beautiful. This is like one of the creamiest tie-in mattes I've ever worked with in my life. It's really, really nice. And then I have another tiny Kat Von D in the shade Lovesick, which I actually think this is a super nice shade. So I'm going to just put that in there with that other one. Put that close. Ooh, that is not going to close. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The struggle. Okay, Woo. That, was, that was a little nerve wracking. Okay, so if this, if the like large Kat Von D stands straight up, it's like really hard for it to close. So I'm just gonna throw this in here with another one. And what do I wanna put in next? I feel like I am gonna put my favorite Tarte lipstick in there. And then I also have um, the Butter London Lippy Liquid Lipstick, which actually is not liquid lipstick um, in the sense that like what you would actually think of formula wise. It is just like a creamy lipstick, if that makes any sense at all. So, oh, my NYX Lid Lingerie. Yes, please. And that is going to complete this drawer because I have to put um, my last dose of colors in here. But this is really, really nice, you guys. Like that fits so many lip products. Like I am really pumped about this. I feel like, sorry, I gotta roll that around for a second. I feel like this is going to make me use my lip products more um, like evenly across because whenever they're in a drawer, it's hard for me to see them. That sounds so silly and stupid, but it's true. So now that I have like all of the color names out and I can actually see the colors really well, I feel like that's going to help me a lot more. So that is going to conclude this video. I hope that you guys found it enjoyable. I hope that this kind of inspired you to start working on organizing your own collection if that is something that you feel like you need to do. Actually, I'm so excited about this. You guys don't even know. Um, I just feel like it's gonna make me feel a lot better about my drawers because they have been so messy 
and I have been reaching for like the same thing over and over again because I can't really see everything. But this, despite like some of my products being a little too chunky to fit in them, um, works really well. And I like how the packaging is clear so I can actually see everything really nice and I know exactly where it is. Everything fits in really, really well for the most part. So yeah. I hope that you enjoy. Don't forget if you do decide to go with Sony Cosmetics that you use my discount code to save you 20% off your order and I will have it linked down below and I'll also put it right here on the screen. It's just Brianna May Makeup. So I will see you guys at my next video. Bye!